doctor. No. Well, I don't think they're any doctors anymore. I think they're all quacks. There's one doctor, Dr. Castle, when he kissed and told me I was all in my head. I was too smart for my own good. Just like, this pain is not in my head. It's freaking right here. 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 Now I'm starting to get a headache. I don't know what it is. Stress headache? Am I going to have a stroke? Or is it just a sinus infection? I got pain in my muscle. This, in this part of my shoulder, I think it's the tricep muscle. I don't know, but it's right here in the shoulder. Stiff this in my, not my right shoulder, the left shoulder. My left shoulder. And my left elbow is stiff sometimes. Sometimes it pops. Occasionally my, my left knee hurts. What's wrong with me? Tell me if he if they they can clone a sheep and they can't figure this out, or is it all the real doctors in those advanced cities like Los Angeles, New York, maybe Chicago, and the doctors we got here are quacks. I say quack means because a quack is a doctor who really doesn't know his butt from a hole in the, his butthole from a hole in the ground. <laughs> And that makes it quack. <laughs> they give you medication that doesn't freaking work. In this case, pain pills and crap. They only temporarily relieve the problem, the symptoms, and not the cause. Dr. Oz, do you want to be responsible for me killing myself? But I'm telling you, I'm not going to live like this. I'm not willing to suffer like this, not for anybody, not even God! Unless he makes made me a good looking guy with the long arms. That's another thing, Dr. Oz. Is it possible to use a laser arm to get my arms stretched a little longer without permanent damage to my muscles? Is it possible? Because I'm telling you, I got a dormant burning on this side of my groin, right here. Permanent strains in my groin, deep in my gut. Today it's on my left side of my chest, but it's often on the right side and sometimes in the solar plexus area. I'm tired, pooped today. I do not want to do anything but lay in the damn bed. And now for two days I've had this damn headache. I know you got a lot of clientele, Dr. Oz, but. They can wait. They're, I mean, I can't because I'm going to kill myself if I don't get some help. Dr. Oz, some true help. I don't mean this BS mental help. It's not mental. These problems, this pain is real. And I and I don't think any other doctor is good like you to fix this. You know your stuff. These other doctors are quacks. They got us on the assembly line. Each time we... Each person who passes off the assembly line or down the assembly line, that cha-ching, money in their pockets. And then they put them on medication, so cha-ching, the pharmacies get money in their pockets. That's capitalism for you. Not the way it should be, but that's how it is in America today. Dr. Oz, will you please help me before I kill myself? I'm not even willing to suffer like this for God. But Chris, Jesus, look what Jesus did for you on the cross. What did he do for just me? He did that for everybody. If I would never been born, he'd have still done it. He didn't really do it just for me. And some of the mom would tell me, Chris, if you were the only person, Jesus would have done it for you. I really want to believe that. But I believe he would have just wiped, out, wiped me out and started anew. Because what's one person to praise him for all eternity? We can have a new start and bends to stroke your ego throughout eternity. I'm just one person. I don't matter when you can have a whole chorus of bands of singers stroking your ego for eternity. What has God done for me? Me, just me. Me, lately. i tell you what he can do. Number one, get rid of these damn pains. But more importantly, or just as important, I don't know, turn me into a good looking guy and give me those long arms I can have the sense of satisfaction. What a cosmic joke, huh? Guys who are dogs have been enabled by God to get their rocks off fuck screwing girls 
day at night after night after night, and me and my little sensual fulfillment is denied, and I'm still a virgin. What type of cosmic joke is that, God? <laughs> I thought you hated fornication. That's the way of the Lord. That's the way of the world. Plant your flowers and you grow a thorn. It sticks you in the belly. And this damn pain never goes away. I'm telling you what, it's the last recourse. If I can't get someone to help me, I want y'all to be my witnesses. Yes, I do sell my soul to Lucifer to be rid of the cause of these pain. To be pain free again, able to exercise like I did back in the days and never have these pains again. And if I have to sell myself for that, to also be a good looking guy and to have the longer arms. I also want the rap record deal and you know the House of Fungate Road, but right now let's deal with the more important things first. Forgot to mention, also selling my soul to Lucifer to be straight and normal without this limb or weakness on the right side of my body again. Somebody told me on a YouTube message that it was an atlas misalignment. I don't freaking know. Is that nerve damage or what? Either way, with cloning today, Lucifer you can, you can make me right. If God won't, please you do. That all may know that you're the one who's answering these prayers. If God won't. I'm serious. I'm sick of this. I'm so frick fucking sick of this shit. Look at how I can't stand straight. I always lean from side to side. That's why I said he thought it was an atlas misalignment. I don't think anybody, I don't even think God knows. You know that? <laughs> Lucifer, will you cure me? I ain't got time to wait. But God went to an old man to give me happiness. I want it now! And you can pay me back double in the afterlife. With triple torments. Do you get the fucking picture? 